hello everyone welcome back uh, today we are going to learn how we can use uh, uh, QR codes QR codes are very popular nowadays they are uh, such kind of images which uh, does possess uh, such certain information about any product let's say this is this is just QR code this can contain uh, the product price its expiry uh, the company's website and so on so these are you will find these uh, on many gadgets uh, in the mobile phones on the food item uh, as well so let's see how we can use uh, uh, these QR codes how we can generate these QR code and store our information in this uh, image so first of all we need uh, two python packages one is the pi uh, pi qr code this is to generate uh, uh, qr code and the second one is pi png this is optional you can skip this one if uh, uh, you doesn't want to uh, store as a png file so import these two packages then use uh, pi qr code create and uh, you can specify the string the information you want to store let's say i want to store the price of the lemon 50 pkr and expiry 5 11 2019 and then i want to store as a png as well as uh, svg this is a vector graphic format uh, so this is a current folder you can s doesn't uh, there is no file stored here so we will run this one by one so this is a QR code for our current information and in the folder you will see uh, one PNG file and the other one is SVG by default it will generate very small QR code very small so in order to enlarge this one we are going to use a scaling option in, in the png and svg file format so i am changing the data into the website and increasing the scale in the folder you can see now the scale has been increased five times so this is a way you can increase also increase or decrease the scaling option for reading and displaying the message which is uh, uh, encoded in the QR code we will use uh, these two libraries pillow and PyCBAR. this is installation method and we can import these two uh, Python packages then we want to decode and print it so this is the data which is uh, encoded in the uh, in the QR code so we are reading the second uh, second uh, QR code and displaying its uh, data so this is a complete workflow you can uh, easily use uh, this method and generate and read any QR code and store your information either it is a price or uh, product information or it is about the website that can be easily done with the help of uh, these uh, packages so thanks for watching if you have any ambiguity or question please uh, uh, feel free to uh, provide your comments in the comment section if you want to if you want this file you can also provide your email in the comment section thanks for watching